Hey what's up creators and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 5 survival game course. In today's video we're going to be showing you how we can import custom graphics and display them as part of our heads up display. By the end of this video we're going to have our heads up display ready to start building out all of the systems for hunger, thirst and our health. But most importantly our heads up display is going to be looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and start this process off by importing the graphics into the content browser. So inside of Unreal Engine, the very first thing that we need to do then, like I said, we need to import those graphics. We can do this by going over to our user interface folder. Inside of here, right click in the content browser and add in a new folder and give this the name Assets. Double click on this to open it up. Now what you should have is, which I've made available to you on my website, is access to the UI kit for the heads up display that I've made. What we're going to be doing is taking all of these assets and then importing them into the engine by dragging and dropping. And what you should then see is going to be just like this. So if I double click on my health icon to see what that looks like, I can see I've then got my little plus. If I do the same thing for my hunger icon, I can see I've got the icon for that. And now we're ready to bring these into our heads up display. To add these onto our heads up display, all we need to do is just open up that widget blueprint that we created before, change out the image, those little images that we had for each of the icons, and then just adjust the style for those progress bars. Again, this is a really straightforward process and you should actually have probably seen the settings for all of this in the last video, but we're going to be walking you through all of this step by step now. Inside of Unreal Engine, go back to your user interface folder. Go to widget blueprint underscore player HUD and double click on this to open it up. First of all then, let's start off by changing the icons for each of these. We're going to do the health icon first. To change this, we're going to click on this. We're then going to go over to our brush as this is where we're going to be able to set the image. And then we're going to click the drop down. And what we can do is search for the image by name. Now for me in the assets folder, we can see here my health icon is simply called health icon. My hunger icon is called hunger icon and my first icon is called first icon. So all we need to do is just click the drop down for image with the health icon bit selected, search for health icon, click on that and just like that you can bring it in. Then we're going to do the same thing for our first, so go to appearance, brush, image and search for first icon. Then do the same thing for the icon up at the top here and the one at the top here is going to be our hunger, so go to image and search for hunger. Now we have our three icons. If we go ahead and hit compile and save and play, we can see these icons very clearly in the bottom left hand corner. Now with this, they might be a little bit stretched or they might be a little bit too big. So here, what we need to do is simply just go in and just change the size of these on a per asset sort of basis. So I think this health icon's a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit and place it where I need it to go. Same goes for this first icon. I'm just going to scale it so it's correct. Make sure that it's nice and small and positioned correctly. And again, you know, you are able to take as much time as you like to do this for yourself. But what I do want you to do is just make sure that you're comfortable and happy with your heads up display so it looks good. For me though, this is looking great. I'm going to go ahead and compile, save and play. And now we can see those icons in the bottom left hand corner are looking fantastic. So the next thing that we need to style now then is going to be our progress bars. Those being the progress bars for health, hunger and thirst. And I've actually provided you with images for how that should look like when it's empty and how it should look like when it's full. An Unreal Engine and that progress bar component is actually going to blend between the two depending on the progress. And we can link that up programmatically later on, but for now, let's show you how we can set up the style for this. Again, back within that widget blueprint. So 
open up your widget blueprint underscore player HUD again. Inside of here, select the bar that we're going to do first. For me, this is going to be our health bar. Inside of here, if we go to style, we can set the background image to start with. So expand our background image and you can see here it's asking for an image. We know we have got one called bar empty that I can select and use that and I can just choose that image. And with this done, you can see now I have the background and it's looking great. What I do want to do is just make sure that I choose to draw this as a image. So that's our background done. We're going to do the same thing for each of these. So we're just going to set this to bar empty for the background image and draw it as an image. Just click on each of these, go to style, go to background image, search for bar empty and change this over. Now we've done our background image. The next thing to do is our fill image. Again, really straightforward. Go to style and then fill image. And this time we're going to search for hunger for the top one and choose hunger fill. And now we can see it's a solid color. But the issue that we're getting here is this color isn't looking correct, not like the one in the heads up display reference. That is because we've already got the color coming through from the image, but then in appearance here under fill color and opacity, it's trying to add additional color to this. So what I want you to do, because we've got this image now, go ahead and set this to one, one, and one. And now it's going to have the exact color that comes from the image. Do the same thing over with our first bar, change the fill image to the correct one for first fill. So just choose that box there and then set the fill color and opacity to one, one, and one. And of course, make sure you're drawing this as an image also. Do that for each of these. And then one last bar that we need to do here is our health bar, so search for health, and then health fill draw it as an image and set that color and opacity to one, one, and one underneath our appearance. And now we have our three bars here and they're looking great. And I can adjust the percentage to different positions here and you can see this go up and down, filling exactly as I want it to. Make sure you can do this for each of these. Just go to progress, percent, and just adjust that value so they're all different values, a bit like what I'm doing here. Go ahead and compile and save this and press play and you can see this for yourself. So now that we have our bars and our icons looking really pretty, what I want us to do now is simply set some names up for those icons and those bars so when we need to reference these later on programmatically, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so inside of Unreal Engine, back within our widget blueprint underscore player HUD, we're just going to make sure we name the icons first. To name stuff within our widget blueprint, we simply select it, go to the details panel, and then in the very top here, we've got the name, and this is called image one. This is not very helpful though, because we're gonna have lots of images. We've got five already. So what I'm gonna do is simply give this the name health icon. I'm then gonna do the same thing for the first, and I'm gonna give this the name first icon, and then Lastly, the same thing for the hunger. I'm going to set this to hunger icon. Then what we're going to do is just name each of the bars as well. So with the hunger bar, I'm just going to call this hunger bar. With the first bar, I'm going to call this first bar. With the health bar, I'm going to call this, you guessed it, health bar. Then over at the top here, I'm going to call my objectives text, objectives text. I'm going to call the background for this, objectives background. Again, this is just to make sure that when we're looking through this list on the, the left hand side here in the hierarchy, I actually know what everything it's called and I can easily find it. If I ever need to go straight to the hunger bar, I can see we've got one called hunger bar there and I can go straight to that. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to name the background elements here as well. And also something I wanted to mention while we're doing this is the 
the names for all of these do not actually need to be anything in particular. This is just me doing this for good practice. And for you, you are the future of programmers and game developers, and I want you to be doing things properly. So with the background for each of these, I'm just gonna call the hunger background, hunger BG. So BG meaning background. First, I'm gonna call this first BG. And then lastly, for the health, I'm gonna call this health BG. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit compile and save. Now, nothing's going to have changed visually, but we have the satisfaction knowing that everything is set up properly. Okay, awesome. So at this point, you should have all of our bars looking fantastic. Our icons looking fantastic. This is the foundation of our survival game. What we're going to be doing now is in the next few videos, we're going to be actually setting up the functionality, which is going to be driving our health system, our hunger system, and our first system. And we can see all of that driving those bars on our heads up display. That being said, this is the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you'd like a little bit more support with this, be sure to check out our Discord server and network with like-minded Unreal Engine developers just like yourselves. Also, if you'd like full access to this course, again, be sure to check out our website. We have got lots and lots of tutorials on this survival course available now. What I want you to do now is head over to the next video in this course. As always, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.